hello friends this is the third video tutorial inside the python pandas video series so in a last uh, lecture uh, we have seen about how we have created uh, a data frame object of this uh, pandas framework uh, we have done it with the help of two way either we have fetch data from the uh, internet from the external sources or we have fetched uh, we have created our python uh, dictionary data object and we have fetched those data uh, structure of dictionary object and put it into data frame framework so we can go for further manipulation on the top of data now in this lecture we are going to see about python io python io means how python uh, library deals with the input output means how it can read the data and write the data so suppose you have data available in some csv format or an html format or any kind of kind of hdf or um, sql or json kind of format and you want to put uh, read it inside the python library and then you want to transform it to somewhere else uh. so let's see uh, what are the functions are available inside this pandas io okay i have already searched this thing okay so you can see that uh, for the reading purpose pa pandas has already provided this many function like it can read a csv file or excel hdf is another file format uh, sql it can read it can read a json and a lot of other f uh, format it can uh, read it and put it into data frame the standard data frame object of the pandas library now suppose you got the some data inside the uh, any uh, from any kind of format to the data frame object now you want to convert into some other format for, for the reporting purpose or there are a lot of other purpose based on the uh, different environment your client is using your data so you want to convert into csv or excel or hdf sql so any kind of format you can convert it so let's do we'll uh, uh, we'll reading of uh, with some external source uh, this i have downloaded one csv file we'll read that csv file we'll do some small manipulation on the top of it and we'll uh, convert into some any kind of format uh, like excel or sql or json or even html format okay so uh, this is one site from where i have downloaded uh, this uh, csv data so you can see this quandel.com it has a lot of uh, uh, government related data or geography demographic related data some are free some are uh, uh, you can't use for uh, commercial uh, purpose some for some you have to pay also so i have downloaded one free one i will show you that is a fred and gt post so this is a data about the gdp let's see first about this data so it has a total two column actually one is the date and one is the value so for individual uh, day what is the value associated with this value is nothing but the, i think most probably it's a gdp but uh, for our data frame uh, related object we don't care for right now so we have a total uh, thing around uh, 313 uh, rows are there and total two columns now let's see how we can read this uh, thing in with the help of python csv reading functionality so let's import python first pandas pandas sorry Okay. now pd dot we have one functional like read csv so i will uh, and we will supply our file name so it will read the uh, file which i have shown you just now in a csv format and we it will create the data frame object for us so we will assign it to some df reference okay so it has successfully created the df now let's visualize some couple of file records from the head okay so we got this uh, date and value 
of first five records of this CSV file. So we have successfully imported uh, this CSV file. Now suppose uh, we want to change the index of this uh, data frame object. So currently the index is just like a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 because it's a default index it has created for us. Uh, in the last lecture we have seen that uh, how we can do a changing in an index actually. So let's just set the index because uh, this date makes lot of sense for the index purpose. So set index is nothing but your date then in place will be true that is for whatever the object it will return it will return inside this df reference only okay now let's display some okay so date is our index now and the value will be a one of the column now suppose we want to change uh, the individual uh, columns of or individual uh, uh, column you name we want to rename it so how we can do it so this data frame has a one property which is columns and here we can supply the individual name so suppose the date we want to give like uh, in a camel case just the same name but how we can rename and value will will put it uh, like a gdp so there is error i think okay this is actually index so we can't uh, provide it like this actually we just need to provide the gdp so that way you can't change the index so just uh, gdp will work okay so it it will change this uh, column name value to the gdp now suppose we want to change the index uh, then that is a different case uh, we have supplied the two arguments uh, but in this case here that was uh, only uh, one column so that was not possible now let's display some uh, first few records okay so it has successfully uh, changed the column name to the gdp okay so we have changed a little bit data and everything we have imported data from the csv file now uh, we have seen that uh, we can store this data inside another csv file or even a json file or html file let's see how we can do it actually so we have a df dot suppose we want to store it to json i'll just keep uh, new dot json okay and let's see whether it has created this file or not okay it has created this file let's visualize it okay the whole uh, we have got this gdp also as our column name so everything is there whole data they have converted into json now let us see how we can convert into mm, let's say html because html we can visualize it so i'll just write new dot html so it will convert whatever data available in our data frame object we can easily go for it okay so it has converted now let's visualize it uh, okay python browser only we can okay so this way we can visualize it so it has converted the whole uh, data frame objects data in its uh, in html format so this way you can go back and forth between uh, different formats you can read the different any kind of format in this uh, pi uh, pandas library and you can convert it to any other kind of format provided you have successfully read the input file so this is all record it is uh, transforming uh, from one format of the data to the another format with the help of python uh, this pandas io functionality okay so uh, that's it uh, for this lecture friends uh, in uh, next lecture we'll see more about this uh, pandas how we can do data manipulation on the top of this data frame 
framework till now we have seen about we have successfully read the data from the different data source and we have put it into standard pandas uh, data structure which is nothing but data frame object so i hope you'll enjoy listening this video please do like comment and subscribe it